I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Tyree speaks on federal agent Sergeant Diddy's mansions. Oh, she come down. Okay, so I want to unpack something. I was having a conversation, man, with uh, a few of my homies, and we were there, and we was just having a conversation about social media. The Be sure to media. like. Watch share out. and subscribe the effects of social media what does that mean have you guys noticed that if you are 25 30 35 years old or older have you guys noticed that pretty much everything going on in the world comes across your timeline on social media and have you noticed that it's so much so much wild shit going on coming across our timelines a lot of us are becoming sociopath what does that mean a sociopath is you know please forgive me for not giving this to y'all verbatim but basically a sociopath is someone who doesn't lose any sleep or is not affected mentally emotionally psychologically whatsoever like something happens and you just keep swiping and you just go go about your day y'all remember back in the day when we used to see something on the news and we'd be f-ed up about it forever man um now it seems like there's so much wild shit coming across our timelines that we just don't care anymore we don't care so I don't want anyone to confuse me for, I mean, last night before I went to sleep, I was praying. I found myself praying for Diddy's kids. I was thinking about Justin and Christian Combs and thinking about the twins who go to school with my daughter. Um, they, My daughter and his twins have been at pretty much every birthday party and then I'm just thinking to myself, see, a lot of people will go after Diddy, him down for whatever he's either did or being accused of, uh, allegedly. Uh, and and then it's all about him, right? And I was thinking about the family. I was thinking about the kids. I was thinking about the stress of yesterday I went home and all of a sudden I'm in handcuffs at the house. It's 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 just trying my best to see things through the lens of the kids, not just him specifically. And then I wanted him to know, irregardless of what he's being accused of and going through, as Minister Louis Farrakhan said, when a man is down, don't laugh at him. Don't make a mockery of him. Don't him down. Don't him down with your words. You don't have to agree with what somebody did. You don't have to even want to be associated with what somebody did. But everybody deserves prayer. I've been through some shit. I've had the internet to make a mockery of me. And all I wanted was somebody to text me and call me and just say, look, man, I don't want to be involved, bro, but I'm praying for you. And man, I hope you get to the other side of what you're going through. And I'll never forget the people that text and called and reached out when shit got real for me at the time. Y'all know when. (laughs) So, you know, it, it takes it takes you to have been through some shit um, or accused of something or going through something for you to have a heart towards other people that are going through things. And yes, I got it. Keep digging and digging and digging and keep the beat going, beat going. A lot of people always will do things for clicks, clickbait, driving traffic to their YouTube pages, creating whole monologues about who, what, when, and where. And I'm not coming to that man's defense. I know him, but I don't know him like that. You know, I've been running into this brother for at least 20-something years, um, and I've always had fun, great parties, good vibes, 
you know, albums, you know, music, videos. Man, I, I could I mean, who isn't a bad boy fan, you know? And so to see all of this shit going down, rather he actually did it allegedly or he's being accused of it, I man, I I don't like none of it, you know what I mean? And I, I don't wish that on anybody, man. And if he if he's a bad person that's really done all that, I hope he gets help. I hope he asks God for forgiveness, you know, but we all fall short. There's so many people out here that you to this day still love, still look up to, still idolize. And the reason that you love them and look up to them the way you do is because you don't know the truth about the things that they're doing or they're involved in. And so you're going to keep loving them until the truth about them comes out. You know, so I just have a heart and, you know, I've, I've gotten over celebrities a long time ago, man. I'm, I'm like, man, I I wish I could actually run into somebody who who is actually everything that I want them to be. You know, I listen to your music. I go to the movies. I watch your films. I look at you as a director, a writer. It could be editor, cinematographer. It can be a music producer. It's so many people out here that's got so many different personalities and they're into so many different things, man. You just got to go and get what you're there to get, meaning musically or do your movie and get the fuck out of Dodge, man. You know, I keep my, my circle small for a reason, man. Um, I also wanted to tell y'all too, man, I don't really want to go into any of the details, but, uh, Y'all should definitely start doing some digging on 111 Hill Street, okay? 111 Hill Street is the courthouse downtown LA. Start doing some digging. There's some things that was just filed recently. I filed them, okay? 111 Hill Street, downtown LA. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and put y'all eyes on that. All I can say is get ready, yeah. So it's a lot of people out here, man, suffering in silence, just going through shit, dealing with shit, trying to process life, just trying to stay positive when you being hit left and right. But this time I just got fed up, man. I got fed up, man. So 111 Hill Street. Yeah, my lawyer, Terry Ross, she went gloves off on this one. Yeah, enough is enough. 111 Hill Street, look at everything that was filed. I'm not going to go into no details, but y'all go look it up. But like I said, man, just just have a heart, man. You know, I would say people that are out here and that are free, they deserve to be prayed for just like people that are in jail. Everybody needs love. Everybody needs prayer. Everybody needs compassion. You know, because things might be good for you right now, but anything could happen. Car accidents happen every day. People file for bankruptcy and they're depressed and they're about to lose everything every day. People wake up to accusations every day. Things happen. And it's very normal for people to be around you while the champagne is flowing. As soon as shit hit the fan, everybody want to run, throw stones, put you down. And, and pile up on you while, while shit is f***ed up. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.